if everyone decided that they weren't going to help someone else, it would be a sad world. Somebody's in the water and needs assistance, somebody's got to save them. When you call out in the middle of the night, you leave your family at home in bed. We can get to the station and have a boat in the water in about 15 minutes. We can go from no water at all to 10 metres of water in three hours. Low water is when people get themselves in trouble and invariably they will die on the water. My name's Jeff, I'm a senior coxswain and also the lifeboat operations manager at Sarah Sharpness Lifeboat Station. And my day job is teaching people at sea, teaching them how to drive boats, how to handle boats. So if anyone gets into trouble on these waters, we are the lifeboats who will respond. My name is Chris Thornton. I'm a lifeboat helmsman in the organisation, I'm the communications officer. Uh, my day job is working for an IT company um, where I'm a technical advisor. Uh, my name's Liv Thornton and I'm a lifeboat crew member. Uh, my day job is a student. <laughs> You're asking me to go back a long, long time and quite frankly, I can't remember the first rescue I did. One that stands out to me was a very large motor cruiser at night. Uh, coming up to dock in Sharpness Docks. The skipper got it wrong. His stern collided with the pier, which damaged his rudder. We launched within 10 minutes, and by that time he was over a mile away. I think that's one of the very first ones I did. Probably going back about 16 years now, so it's a bit hazy. Um, but my first rescue was a recovery um, up at the top of the noose with an incoming tide where uh, we had to work with the police to be able to recover an object from the, the shoreline. It, it's interesting here because of its unique tidal conditions um, and also on station we've got a great group of people that are quite close. One that um, really sticks in my mind, a very sad one, was the loss of a 10 year old lad. He got onto a sandbank um, and the sandbank gave way and we were on the water 13 hours before his body was found. And all that time his mum stayed on the shore uh, and when we brought him ashore she cleaned the sand out of his eyes and combed his hair before he went away in the box. We had one very professional man who joined us and he spent three years with us uh, and he joined in on deceased recovery and um, he walked away. He couldn't handle it. To be alerted you have a pager. They go off at random times. I've actually always wanted to do it since I was really little. SARA, Seven Area Rescue Association, is funded entirely by donations. We get no government funding um, at all. It's um, around £1,500 to get out one person. So why do I put my life at risk is always a hard one to answer. Uh, just because somebody has to. It's what we do.